So this is the hardest thing about laser cutters and laser engravers, and that's just figuring out like what to cut and engrave. So you've got this great machine, but now you need to do stuff with it. And if you don't know how to make these from scratch, it might be kind of hard. So let's go through a bunch of free and paid resources that you can use with your laser cutter and engraver so you can actually get some really cool designs. All right, so let's jump into the very first one, and that has to do with fonts. Whatever software you're using, whether it is Lightburn or something different, they're gonna have some pre-built fonts that you can use. But what if you wanna do something a little bit different? Something I've used for a really long time, even before I did lasers, was a website called defont.com. And you can just go in here and you can search for anything crazy. So let's go, let's type in crazy and see what happens. And you can see that you're gonna get a bunch of different options. Um, one thing I really like about this website is you can type in whatever you wanna do. So whatever you want to do, submit. And then it's going to show you that text in the different fonts. And then you can just go in and download them and use them like any other font. And a lot of times these are free for you to download and to use. So another good website is going to be fontbundles.net. And this is actually like a subset of the bigger designbundles.net. And some of these are paid, but they're also some free resources. Um, these are nice because usually uh, they're going to be specific to certain types of designs. And a lot of times you'll get multiple fonts within a bundle and most importantly, a lot of these will come with a license. So if this is something that you are wanting to sell, um, you're totally in the clear. And then the site that's kind of similar to this, that's I would say a little bit more premium is creativemarket.com. Again, this is something I have personally bought from in the past. There's a bunch of different things you can download from them, but on the font side of things, uh, they always do a great job as well. You can see there are lots and lots of different options. And just like with defont.com, you can also type in whatever you want to use. This is a test and then you can check out all of the different options with it. Over the years, I've bought lots of fonts and graphics from Creative Market. In general, I find they do a really good job in creation, where a lot of those other websites that might be free also means you're gonna be digging through just a lot of junk to be able to get what you need. Now, there's actually a lot more resources that I just don't have enough time to go over, uh, but I pretty much have a running list of these as I find them. And not only does it have design resources, um, but I'm also starting to put together material resources. If you guys wanna check that out, there's a link down. Below. All right, so the next category is going to be images that you would actually put into your design. And specifically, these are going to be SVG files or vector files, meaning that you can scale these up and scale these down. And that's really important for a laser because it can follow that path, whether it's going to cut it out or it's going to score it versus just a straight image, where it's just gonna be doing a back and forth scan. So especially if you're cutting things out, you're gonna need SVG. Geez. On the free resource side of things, uh, there is the website, free SVG. Uh, again, this is one of those that kind of throws just a ton of stuff at you. So you probably have to uh, sift through a good bit to find something that works. But let's say I wanted this lizard. You can go right here and you can download the SVG. And they also give you the option of downloading uh, the PNG. But again, the PNG is going to be an image with a transparent background. For a laser, you definitely want to get the SVG version. Another free-ish site is going to be free picks with a K. They're just going to try to get you onto a paid plan. But in addition to vectors, they also have photos, icons, videos, and even uh, Photoshop files. But you can go in here and you're going to find a bunch of different vector options for you. All right, the next one I want to talk about is the Vector Lab. And this isn't like specific to lasers. Uh, their focus is really on folks that are doing t-shirt designs. So you're going to download these, modify them, and then like screen print them on a shirt. But because they're vectors, you can turn these easily into sign. And what I like about what they do is they have these entire collections that you can buy. Let's say you are wanting to do a series of like camping signs that you want to sell. Maybe you're gonna cut them out of acrylic or dyed wood. Um, you can come over here. And for the most part, these designs that would go on a shirt actually would look really good on a sign as well. And this one is 50 bucks, which I get is not cheap, but you are also going to get a lot of different graphics as well as fonts that are gonna come included with it. And if you've designed anything from scratch, you know there is a lot of work that goes into getting something cohesive that looks nice together. So especially if you are selling these designs, uh, this could be a cool option for you. And as we're going through all of this paid stuff, 
stuff. I'm not affiliated with any of these sites. Um, these are just cool ones that I've come across or used in the past. Now, probably the most annoying part about fonts is just remembering what you already have on your computer and then being able to preview them really quickly. Uh, you can definitely change that inside of the software one after the other to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. Uh, but I recently saw uh, this website, this is WordMark, and they're gonna sell you like a tool, but I've just used this uh, free preview on the front um, that's going to use the actual fonts you already have on your computer. So this is a test. And all of these are going to be ones that I've already got pre-installed. So kind of like the other font previews where you could purchase those fonts or you could download them for free. This is gonna be stuff that you've already got. I find this is really handy if you're working on specific designs for clients. So you can give them a bunch of different options that they can pick from. All right, so the next category are designs that are completely built for a laser cutter. A lot of times these are going to be entire project files to where it could be an assembly that you put together. And there's definitely a lot of good resources for those. A few that I have come across, uh, first is Pinoco. I think that's how you say it. And this is actually one of those services that you can submit a design and they'll laser cut something in metal or whatever you want and send it back to you. But they have a free file library on the back end um, with lots of good options. And this is probably the biggest resource for projects that are laser cut specific. Now, another good one is Obery uh, and they just have a few designs. So actually these live hinge swatches, I've used this in the past and uh, this is really handy if you are wanting to do live hinges, meaning you're wanting to bend like a sheet of wood. They're gonna give you some functional options, but also ones that look pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure this is like a single designer or like a group of folks. So all of these are nice, uh, but there's not a ton of them. And in that same category is Cartoonus. And uh, this is also an Etsy shop and a lot of these laser cut projects you can find on Etsy and download them individually. But a lot of times if I find that the designer has their own website, you might find some free or some cheaper versions of what they offer. So this one has a lot of like wine box stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. And then one that I have recently come across is a uh, UNG studio. And I think I've actually done one of his designs, but it was through like the Glowforge marketplace. And it was this really cool laser cut lamp. At least it looked a ton like these. So he doesn't have a ton, but this is kind of a step up in terms of the complexity. Uh, he's got a uh, pay what you want model, but these are very nice and very high quality stuff. And then if you go to pretty much any laser manufacturer, they're going to have their own set of files that you can download and run. A lot of times these are going to be free, like under their resources section. Uh, so this is a uh, boss laser and they have a bunch of different projects that you can do, uh, but they also have them organized by material type. That's super handy. So acrylic, wood, leather, and just other cool stuff. But I know like Ohm Tech and Thunder and Epilogue also have resources similar to this. Now, one last site in this category is K40 Laser Cutter. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss, and it really feels like this is one of those sites that's built for SEO to serve you ads. It's a little bit junky, but there is a lot of stuff in here if you're able to dig around inside of it. And they also have some free bundles of a bunch of different icons and text uh, that you can go in and edit as you need. Now, one more kind of strange option for you on the complete project side of things is going to be Thingiverse. Uh, and if you're into 3D printing, you're probably really familiar with Thingiverse. It's basically this huge repository of lots of 3D models that you can download and then you can print. But I find that if you search for laser cut, um, there's also lots of laser cut projects as well. So you can go in here and see a bunch of the different things that people have made. And then a lot of times the file that you are actually going to download. So in this case, this wolf, I believe you're going to get actual uh, SVG that then you can import into Lightburn or whatever software that you need. And along the same lines, Instructables is also another good site that is run by Autodesk, but these are entire projects and tutorials that people do write-ups for. And I've actually done a few of my own in the past. But again, if you look for laser cut or laser, you're gonna see a lot of different things people have built with lasers. But then you can go in and download some of their resources or at least kind of see the process they're using to get some inspiration and do with your own machine. Now a site where you can get paid project files that are specific to lasers is gonna be Laser Ready Templates. Uh, this is a pretty big site. Um, so there's gonna be stuff in here that's probably not the best, but you can definitely find some really good gems in here as well. Uh, but for the most part, um, these are gonna be paid designs that you are going to get. You can buy them individually. You can also buy them bundles, um, but this is a good one to check out. If at the very least, there's some project ideas that you can build yourself. Now this last category is 
is on the generator side of things. So how you can make 3D designs that then you can get laser cut files of. And a lot of times this is going to be for boxes. So there's several of these like box generators that you can use for lasers. And probably the most popular is a maker case. Basically you can pick the type of case that you wanna do. You can do a simple box. You can go in here and type in all the dimensions that you need. The material, open or closed. We want it to be open. We do finger joints with lots of them. And then you can just download the plans right there. And then that can export out as an SVG or even a DXF. This is a site I've used a bunch over the years just to make some really quick boxes. Another option that I haven't used quite as much is just Box Designer. This is a lot more simple with a lot less options, but if you need something quick, but you can go in here and download the files as well. Now, what if you wanted to create your own 3D design that then you could laser cut? A really good free option is Tinkercad. Again, this is also from Autodesk. It's a pretty full-fledged online 3D design software that's also free. It's got a heavy emphasis on the educational side of things, but there are some pretty good examples of people using Tinkercad to be able to laser cut things. So coming back to Instructables, this is a really good one on doing a, like an equal distant divider layout. So this is something they had to completely mock up in CAD, then export those SVGs to cut out. So if you're interested in that process and what that could look like, depending on what you are making, I encourage you guys to check out this tutorial. Uh, it goes step by step through the entire 3D modeling process and then how they're exporting the SVG and then bringing it into their software and then running it. Now one, I'm not really sure where to categorize it is called 52 lasers. And it's basically just a ton of different experiments that these folks have run with their lasers, whether it's how they're using certain materials or doing certain designs. Even one of their top posts is how do you actually hang up your laser cut design? And you can see they're going through a bunch of different options. And I think originally it started because they're gonna do 52 weeks of experiments, but they're up to like 174 with this hydraulic press template. So there's a lot of really cool inspiration and there might be some stuff that you wouldn't think you could do with a laser that they're trying out and showing you their results. Now, one favor I have of you, is there a resource or a tool or something along these lines that you use that you think would be super beneficial for everybody? If so, leave it in the comments and I'll make sure and add it to this ever-growing list. All right, until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.